Oh. <laughs> well, should I tell that story? Yeah, you might as well tell it again. It's a snippet of stories, but when I first joined the band quite early on, we went up to Tim's house to rehearse, and Tim made a huge pot of chili, and then I later found out this was his custom, that he was known for making chili. So we just finished having a chili lunch in memory of Tim, in honor of that. So what would you like to play? We should play can we go to back? start with. Oh, you want to go back to Swallowtail? Sure. Knows that sure. This would be a tune that Tim would feature on fiddle. Yep. I get a story about Tim. One of the times that the tall ships came to Boston, uh, we were approached by, I think it was uh, WBZ TV, to play, uh, a couple of us, to play background music of sea shanties and so forth while they did a little cutaway. And um, this is our chance, you know, we're gonna, oh, we're going to be on national, we're going to be on like big television and so forth. So what happened is that it rained, torrential rain, for two days straight. And in the meantime, we rented a van to put, I don't know, whatever reason, to take our families to go to this place. I think it was on Castle Island. So what happened is they canceled us out. And then we had this big gigantic van and we didn't know what to do with it. We, so we all ended up going to Chuck E. Cheese's. <laughs> but when I think of Tim, I also think of he, and his love of Irish music, of course, but he did some sea shanties and sea songs. So what I was thinking we could do is um, Cape Cod Girls, because I, I think I remember him him singing that at one point, mm -hmm. so yeah. in the key of C, okay. and then we can all, you know, sing, sing on the chorus. Yeah. Uh, sure. yeah. One, two, one, two, three, four. was mighty.
Tim was with our band when uh, he lived in Salem. Uh, the whole Murphy family lived in Salem. Uh, he would bring to our band not only a terrific repertoire of Irish traditional music, uh, including many wonderful songs that Tim would sing and others, but one of the more unusual things uh, that actually led to uh, uh, an amazing recognition for our band was a concert <clears throat> that he organized on behalf of a witch's coven. <laughs> there was a witch in Salem, uh, Lori Cabot, I think her name was. And uh, Tim knew her, and uh, she knew of the Gloucester Hornpipe and Clog Society, and she invited us to come and be the musical entertainment for this celebration of the coven. And. I didn't really know very much about witches, and I certainly <clears throat> didn't quite know what kind of repertoire we should put together, but Tim did, and it turned out to be uh, just a great occasion. And at the end, uh, Lori Cabot stood up and she said, and I, I have an announcement that I'd like to make, and this may be a surprise to the band that has joined us today, the Gloucester Hornpipe and Clog Society, but um, we would like to make you the official band of our covenant. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. And I, afterwards I said to Tim, did you know that this was going to happen? And he said, no, I didn't. I said, well, what are our responsibilities? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> so uh, what I remember about Tim is he was just steady. You know, he was always steady and ready to perform, to sing, and um, tell stories to uh, to start the songs. You know, just I just think of him as so steady. He was a band renaissance man. And yeah. He played probably more instruments with the band than anybody else, and sang. Yeah. Yeah, I remember though one story about it where he sometimes would t introduce a song and kind of go on and on about mm -hmm. it a bit. And there was one place we played where he went on for a long time about it. I could sense the audience was a little, you know, kind of fidgeting in their seats after a while. So we played the song and it was my job to introduce the next song. And I said, and here's the song we're going to play now and you may be happy to know I don't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think Salem by ash, ash breeze was meaning that you had no wind. Right. Right. You had to use the ash, the robes yeah. to it's get a, going. Yeah. It's a great made movie. out of ashwood. Yeah. It's a great title and a great tune. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. All right. You One, don't. two,
assume that at some point in time, I'm sure Tim did uh, with the band or at his sessions, all the different sessions that he used to go to. Um, it's a popular one in a pub. Everybody seems to know it. So we can all join in on the chorus. It's called The Drunken Sailor. think of Tim uh, doing this song and hey girls can't you do the polka you remember oh, that yeah. New, York yes, yes, New York girls hey, yeah, New yeah. York girls can't you do the polka yeah. and then we play a polka to go with it can't you dance a polka as I walked out on Broadway one evening, what key did he do? I think he did it in D. Uh, yes, I can't sing it in oh, D. Can, well, we, can we do it in G? Sure. As I walked out on Broadway one evening in July, I met a maid, she asked me trade, Sailor Jack says I and away. You sent me, my dear Annie, all you New York girls can't you dance a polka. Hey, Tim, this goes out to you. for the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> How do you make uh, two million in folk music? How? Start with, no, start with three million. Very good. And, and the one that you used to, you know, routinely uh, mention about our recordings, the million seller. Oh, yeah. We got what a million in our cellar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Gloucester Hornpipe and Glock Society albums have been million sellers. I don't know if anybody knows this. I have a million in my cellar. 